my brother and uh, my compatriot in this, Professor Magoa, and the entire council at the Kenya National Examinations Council, uh, Masi and your staff, and all of you, my colleagues who are here from the Ministry of Education in the field. Uh, Mr. Marwa, uh, our regional uh, coordinator here, the Count Commissioner here, Mr. Choki, and all of you, my colleagues from the Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government. And all of you who are here today. I am very grateful for several reasons, and I will be brief because I know what everyone is looking forward to. First of all, I want to very sincerely um, thank the Lord for the opportunity he has given us to serve our country and to serve our fellow men. Uh, the year 2016 has been uh, long, and challenging in some cases, but I can tell you as I stand here before you that I have seen the hand of the Lord and the Lord has led us so well so far. And we taking the steps in trying to ensure that we reorganize ourselves and manage the education sector in a much more responsible way. But I want to say this, I sincerely, very sincerely, first of all as a citizen of this country, uh, even before I speak to you as the cabinet secretary in charge of education now, as a citizen of this nation, I am very grateful to our president. His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta. The President has been so steadfast because all along he and His Excellency the Deputy President have a very central focus to the education sector of our country. And both the President and Deputy President have consistently pushed us to ensure that we achieve the Jubilee Government's plan on education because of the centrality and the importance of education in our country. And so this morning, the President received the results, the KCSA results, and took time to go through the results with us and insist on certain things that we must do to move to the next stage. I can tell you this without fear of contradiction or without a doubt, that there are so many countries that have not made as much progress as we have made in the education of our country especially because they do not have as much focused and determined leadership from the top, working very hard on the education of their citizens. So we are grateful as a nation, and I think it's important even at this point in time to be sincere and thank God for the blessings that we have. Leaders who are so focused on what we are doing, who are leading from the front, and slowly I can see it, I feel it, I'm very hopeful that we are slowly building a very strong partnership and coalition in the education sector that is going to lead us claiming a rightful place as the leaders in education, not just in Africa, but in the world. I want to thank all of you, my colleagues, who are here from the Ministry of Education, with whom we have worked every step of the way 